Tropical Storm Barry looking much better this morning off the coast of Louisiana, still remaining out at sea. With winds we're estimating of 70 miles per hour and a pressure of 993 millibars. It's at 28.7 north, 91.9 west at 7am central time this July 13th. The CDPS rating has increased to stage 5. Owing to its larger expected size, by the time it makes landfall, the rainfall potential remains fairly much the same. Devastating is the stage 5 description on that scale. Here it is right now in relation to the map and you can see its location there and uh, the wind field projection, uh, particularly on the southern side, has quite a large wind field. It's 80 miles from Morgan City right now, 88 from New Iberia, 104 from Lafayette, 127 from Baton Rouge and 129 from Lake Charles. The storm's likely to move inland towards the northwest later today where hurricane warnings are posted as well as tropical storm warnings in many other areas. Hurricane watches also in effect further west and tropical storm watches uh, as far east as the Mississippi-Alabama border. Storm surge warnings are in effect from Intracoastal City to Biloxi and Lake Pontchartrain. Storm surge of up to 6 feet could occur in this area, along with that heavy rain could cause large amounts of flooding even inland. This is the total rainfall projection over the next 5 days. We are expecting up to a further 20 inches of rain for isolated locations although major population centres will probably not get quite as much rain as we were expecting. However, it's still over a foot for many areas which could produce significant flooding and flash flooding. Current sea surface temperatures will help that moisture train too, um, that plume. Uh, temperatures up to around 29 or even 30 degrees Celsius underneath the storm and it's really showing on the satellite imagery it has been blowing up. The forecast throughout the west of the weekend uh, shows here the uh, storm force winds moving inland and should, be, should be all gone by late Sunday. The rest of the storm moves inland by the early part of next week. Hurricane force winds are possible along the coast of Louisiana and those could have even higher gusts, maybe even gusting towards Category 2. Um, certainly I think we will see hurricane force gusts even if Barry doesn't intensify to hurricane sustained wind. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds, Morgan City, Lafayette and Baton Rouge, very high chances there, nearly 100%, Lake Charles also at 91% and New Orleans at 66 that's gone down since yesterday. What is striking is that even into west, uh, easternmost Texas, sorry, um, there is a significant chance of tropical storm conditions. These are the local National Weather Service offices. This is Mobile showing an elevated chance of flooding further west, especially over Mobile. New Orleans showing those very high chances of flash flooding in Louisiana in the pink outline there. Lake Charles showing the hurricane and tropical storm force, uh, tropical storm warnings in those areas. Houston talking about warm day in the western part of that area, up to 94 or 95 degrees. Jackson showing that significant threat of up to a foot, possibly even more, of rainfall in that region. This is the latest satellite imagery showing what Barry is looking like. A massive flare-up that started at around 1am central time this morning uh, has continued throughout the last few hours. Um, and here it is now starting to look very impressive with massive cloud tops and we're waiting to see whether an eye might start to appear within all that sooner or later. Uh, it is a wait and see on that one and that would of course confirm hurricane status in all likelihood. Recon planes are investigating, we might have more information later on, stay tuned. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. 
You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.